Hello and welcome to the first edition of GWI's Customer Alert for 2019. I'd like you to take a journey with me to Central Rupununi Region 9, where a team of GWI officials visited some 13 communities to assess the water situation there and look at ways in which we can improve access to quality water. Well, as managing director, I must know. I must be able to palpate. When people speak to issues, I must be very clear what the issues are to support them. Uh, if I don't understand it, I cannot communicate with the board also. So I must be able to speak with knowledge uh, of what the situations are in the villages so that um, the board can clearly understand uh, some of the decisions that are being made by management uh, to respond to the mission of the organization. In many hinterland regions, like Fly Hill, um, is, they're not suffering, but we need a quality water for the resident and for future generation. Because again, if we are to um, have more uh, major development, such as the, the school, or we might have nurses' quarter, doctors' quarter. We have we have um, a pump like this one. It is functioning very well, but it is not good to treat. Only to wash and sometimes we have a bath. So we can make it. We never drink it. We, we just use dog up well. I don't know if we go and check it. The water is dirty. We all depend on this one well uh, for the school and for the cooking that happens, the hot meal. Um, most of the children are out of water most times during school hours. 
Azad is related to the cooks. The cooks have to have water to cook and the pump or the well is not producing enough water because the rest of the community is using the, the, the water and it runs out. And people are mostly rustling in the morning, very early morning to all the tanks and drain it out and by the time it's ready for the cooks, there is no water. So the, the cooks has to be moving from one area to the other looking for water. And so it's really a, a situation mm. here. The water problem in our community is a big problem for us. It's a big issue then for the whole community as a resident. We suffer a lot. Um, we have, we sometimes go to the river, to, to the lakes to fetch water and you know the quality of that water is not sufficient for us. So um, as a resident I feel hurt to go every morning to, to the river to fetch water. Indeed GWI recently completed a visit in uh, Region 9. In central Rupununi, we went to 13 different communities over a period of three days and we conducted uh, meetings with residents within these communities. We did a walkthrough of the communities and we inspected the minor physical inspection of the water infrastructure. We observed wells, uh, hand dug wells, wells that have hand pumps, residents that are utilizing private uh, wells, rainwater harvesting, and there are many issues that we observe. GWI has uh, commenced a, a program where we're looking at all of the wells across our indigenous communities because we're looking at equal access to potable water throughout our country. Uh, water supply should be uh, accessible along the coastal areas uh, and even uh, evenly accessible to, to all the indigenous communities. So within these 13 communities that we have visited, we observe that there are, there are works that GWI has to undertake. Uh, maintenance works need to be undertaken in some of the wells that we, we have existing. There are some hand pumps that are within those communities and require GWI maintenance. We have personnel within those communities who can support in maintenance and so we are engaging those persons uh, who are experienced with hand pumps and who are also experienced with photovoltaic systems. Those persons are coming on board with GWI to support us to ensure that we have a proactive maintenance program throughout Region 9. Uh, we visited Fly Hill and uh, Fly Hill a community with 26 homes that community has two hand pumps, but they don't do not have any major water infrastructure. And so we're, we're sending out a team to that community uh, over a week's period, and they will undertake mapping of all of the 13 communities, which include Fly Hill, Kaikombe, Yupokari, Kwatata, Markanata, Parashara, Napi, Haiwa, Mokomoko, St. Ignatius, Parakwaranao, Quarry, and Kumu. Our teams will map all of these 13 communities. We are, we are going to carry out uh, inspection of the existing wells that the communities have. Uh, we will undertake development works uh, of the wells that, that requires development and we will undertake testing of the water quality to ensure that the water that is being supplied and accessible within the communities is portable and is safe for, for human consumption and human use. We will also extend that to household level, so persons that have hand dug wells, we are going to undertake testing of the water coming from those communities. And in case where there is need for treatment, we will advise those residents as to how to go about with treatment. We are also going to extend it that we will, we will support the initiative. We will actually help in the treatment process of those hand dug wells. There are communities such as Kaikombe, which where residents they, only a section of the community has access to water and, and so we are working to ensure that other sections, this, this community has four sections and there are infrastructure within this, within this community. One, one section has a hand dog well that was, that was drilled and uh, with a hand pump 
and uh, we, we understand that that system only worked for a very short period, just one day, and never worked again. So we are going to inspect that system, we are going to conduct thorough investigation. We actually want to undertake an exercise called the resistivity login to determine at what depth we can actually drill to get sustainable supply of potable water for the communities. And so we intend to undertake those activities within a very short period of time because some of these communities are very at a disadvantage where the elderly, the school children have to walk to the water resource to get water. And especially now there's a there's a drier period and we understand going into the month of February that it will become even more drier. As such, we want to ensure that there is sustainable supply within each and every community that we visit. So GWI is undertaking a proactive approach in looking at the hinterland and ensuring that there is equal access to potable water as we are accessing potable water along the coastal areas. In Yupokari, for example, we were there. The water supply system was not working very effective. There was a mixture of panels. Uh, we are looking at standardization. So in the case that one of the photovoltaic panel uh, reduce its efficiency, we can, we, can, we can go and we can replace it because we have standard panels. Right now there is no standardization, so we're working towards that in the hinterland. Our team was there, we visited, we rectified the electrical problem in Yupokari, and we, we also went and we did an extraction of the pump. We found that there was a non-return valve that was not working within the well. We fixed that problem, we changed the pump, and we restored service. Our team uh, tested the system and it is working as it should. We went to Quatata, um, Marcanata, Parashara, Haiwa and Napi. Some of these communities have photovoltaic systems that are working at as much as, as, as minimum as 30% efficiency. As such, we have to replace some of those panels, we have to upgrade them and we are working with UNDP uh, the government of Guyana, UNDP, GWI, together to implement uh, solutions to bring relief to these communities. And so we have an action plan. After we came out of Region 9, we have an action plan, which I have in front of me, which we actually publish uh, in the local newspapers and, and online, that, uh, that we want to work towards achieving our objectives over the next three months and so that is our approach over the next two weeks we have a team that will be mobilizing we're going to take mapping of the communities water quality testing we're going to undertake development of, of, of the wells and cleaning of the wells and we're going to ensure that the water that is being supplied to the communities are sustainable the so all the solutions will not be provided within the first phase of our our project but so as we advance, we will continue to bring improvement to these communities.
I must thank the GWI for, for the visit. Um, as I said, this is a, a historic moment that I would have seen the managing director personally in the community. Um, this is not what we have not been requesting for. Rather, this is what we have requested for a very long time. And we are very happy that things are now moving. It's happening. Um, it's reality. To GWI, I want to thank you so much in advance that they come to tell us that there will be a support for us. Thank you very much. Well, at the moment, I'm happy that they, can, they, they have come to see and that they can put some work into it in order to uh, make it more workable for both the children and the cooking. This is a big visit to us, so we hope that this team can, you know, further our issue so that we can get another pump maybe or rebooting of our well that we have right now. So this visit, I, um, to me, is a great help. You know, people on ground can hear our concerns and writing it on a piece of paper and you know, I have no idea where that should go forward. Thank you for accompanying us on this journey. For more on these interventions and upcoming projects, you can visit us at www.gwiganna.gy or you can find us on social media at Ghana Water Incorporated. Our YouTube channel can be found at GWI Ghana Water. Thank you for watching. Is this you? Or is this you? What about this? Oh gosh. So the girl, we got to go pay this water bill. I'll call you back now. Mm -hmm. Listen, sugar, we moving from here just now so we don't need to pay. And besides, you forget we get this connect, la 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 la, and we reconnect himself. And they know not who. Y'all, look, the people send a letter here for tampering. Look, let me go pay the bill, girl, because just so it can be more money, because the water rate don't go up. I say, we moving from here just now. We just waiting to get the loan approved so we could continue building. Don't let this be you. Settle all arrears with GWI before being denied that loan. 
customers should not reconnect their water service. Pay your GWI bills every month and avoid disconnection. For more information on GWI, visit our website www.gwiguyana.gy or call 227-8701.